Hello, I'm Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brownie here with another classic Bionicle character. This is Voparak. Voparak is a combination model between all of the Titan sets released in 2005. So he is a combination model between Sidorak, Rudaka, and Kitongu. Now just like with the Shattered One and Sentrak, I did not actually build this guy out of those three sets. Instead, this guy is built out of parts that I already had uh, from my spare parts bin. Not a trash bin, mind you. But... Uh, well. Parts, spare parts that I had in my parts bins Plus parts that I purchased off of Bricklink because I did not have them available. Now, just like with uh, the Shadowed One, Voparak looks like an alternative version of Rudaka. Of course, he is not exactly Rudaka. He is actually a mutated member of Sidorak's species. Now that is actually pretty interesting. So, you see these, uh, we these spinning weapon things? You may remember that Rudaka and Kitongu each had one of these. Voparak has two. Now, <laughs> this guy is extremely huge. Very huge. A combination model between three Titan sets. So, taking a look at this guy from all sorts of different points of view, you can see that there have been a lot of parts that have been put into this and that Duke Spinner was not supposed to fall off. So put that back on. So looking at him from the back, you see that there's some back coverage with this piece here from uh, Sidorak, which is a 2004 Matoran body piece. Now I will also tell you that I sort of actually cheated on this one. Y you know those, um those pieces that, like the ball cup pieces that have a axle hole on the top instead of through the top from the other way, you know, like going through here, the ones that have a top going this way. Because those particular parts of the piece weren't used on this, I actually used the stronger Hero Factory ball cup pieces here instead. Plus, I needed to use one of those pieces for uh, my Blanco XL mock, or maybe I should call it a jock because it's not my own creation, it's Jang's own creation. Um, so, um, the, the last piece that I needed to complete this guy would be one of these pieces right here. Now, I did find a seller on Bricklink but who had these, but not enough of them. So I had to make one more purchase to purchase to get uh, one more of those so I could put it on uh, the character here because I just did not have enough of them and the sellers that I was getting those parts from did not have enough of those. So pretty much, with all the Bricklink orders that I did, it was just that, that one last piece that I needed. Alright. Now, what is kind of interesting about, uh, Voparek is that his arms have, well, his top arms have three joints in them. And he also has a second pair of arms, which I don't know what they are actually for, 
mean, they don't have any hands on them or anything. However, this one has a Raduka spinner. And as you saw earlier in the video, it fell off. Wasn't supposed to, but it did anyway. So now I'm going to actually demonstrate this. Oh, flew off screen. Oh well. But most of you have seen that already, and, um, but if you haven't uh, seen that little ability, you should check out some other people's videos to see how it's done, or check out my earlier videos showing that, if you haven't seen them. So, uh, getting the parts that I needed for this character... I was kind of limited on the mini parts. I was kind of starting to run out of the two long size axle pieces in black. I have a lot of the red ones, but since uh, this was a character from the black two long size axle piece era, I just wanted to have it be mostly accurate. I was also kind of running low on the three long size friction pieces, because, you know, I had a lot of them at one point in time that I was starting to run out, but I can deal with um, using the blue ones on my mocks in the future. Now one thing that also did concern me about getting parts to build this character would be the translucent orange eyes. Because they are not very common, at least not in any US stores on Bricklink. There are plenty of them in Bricklink stores around the world, but as I've said in an earlier video discussing Bricklink, I only prefer to buy uh, parts from any Bricklink stores that are in the United States and Canada, because if I bought a Bricklink order from a seller that was not in either the United States or Canada, the shipping would cost a lot. Yeah. Because apparently it costs a lot more to uh, ship outside of one's country than to uh, ship uh, in, in your own country. Uh, America and Canada are technically the same country, but some people consider them to be separate uh, countries. But to me, I'm gonna say they're a little of both. Okay. So... I, I really don't know what else to say about this uh, character here. I mean, he's enormous. I can bring that up. And... He's just a very good ca character to have in my collection of LEGO, Bionicle, and Hero Factory characters. So... Like, if you either have the money to buy uh, another Rudaka, and another Sidorak, and another Kitongu to build this guy, or have the money to buy, um, any parts that you would need to build this guy, and you already have some parts, this guy would be a great, um, add-on to your collection. Now, I don't think I've ever built this guy, um, when I was a kid. I don't remember ever building this guy until now. I do remember building uh, the Shadowed One and Sentrak out of my Rudaka, Sidorak, and Kitongu set, but I don't think I've ever made this guy. But I am happy that I made him now. He's pretty cool. And there is one more thing that I should point out about, um, about this bill. Uh, you know the, uh, black Borok eyes on the feet? Um, I actually used a black five-long-size 
uh, actual piece in there instead of the piece that the instructions suggest for you to use. I used the five long size ones instead because that other piece, I don't really have a name for it. Oh wait, you're not even looking. Oh, sorry. I was talking about this. The These pieces right here. Down here. Um, I don't know what that part is supposed to be, uh, or what part was supposed to be used to put these on here, but they just did not look right to me, so I used the five long size basic ones instead. So that's about it! That is, uh, Volparac from the 2005 Bionicle, uh, series, uh, so thank you for watching, and, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up on the videos that I make. I do, uh, Lego Bionicle and Lego Hero Factory reviews and mocks, and, um, and if you're interested in any of the other things that I do on YouTube, uh, subscribe so you can check up on those too. So I'll see you in the next video.